Howdy folks, Mikey McKernan here, AKA Booha Man, AKA is not funny. Tonight, I got two spots. Second spot is at the Oracle Tavern in Los Angeles. It's over by Los Angeles State Historic Park. But the first one, the first show that I'm performing at last year, 2020, 20, most comedians had to resort to performing outside at parks. So my first gig tonight, this is in Culver City, Telfacin Park. I'm always down to perform wherever, especially outside. I wanted to be on this show. It's called the La Morta Comedy Show. It's cute. I love the theme. I love who hosts it. Karina, she's hilarious. But performing outside sucks. Telf, Telf, Telfacin, Telf, Telfacin Fair Park? I have to look. I have to look at my phone because I'm not very good at reader, even though I try to read all the time. Telfacin Park. So that's going down. For the adventure today, why not visit a park? Griffith Park. Public parks are a safety value of great cities and should be made accessible and attractive when neither race, creed, nor color could be excluded. So this guy right here, he got the park 1882 from the Los Villas family. They said it was cursed. He then donated in 1896 to Los Angeles for its recreation. What's funny is 1896, this Saturday, Griffith Park is celebrating 125 years. <laughs> This park is 125 years old. That's awesome. I love this park. I love coming here for all sorts of reasons. Mostly for hiking. I like to go hiking. I haven't been hiking in a while, so I can't talk about it. Boy, I hope this wind doesn't pick up on this mic. They got the Griffith Observatory, LA Zoo, Travel Town. They even got the Los Angeles Railroad Streamers. Those are the little trains you get to sit on. Inspiration to Walt Disney. They got the Carousel, another inspiration for Walt Disney and Disneyland. This park is historic. Too bad I'm gonna be out of town this Saturday. I'd like to come see the, the festivities. Usually when you come to Griffith Park, if you're driving around it, one of its things it's most known for is its birthday signs. You'll always see signs pointing to like, I don't know how many birthdays. It's always like on the weekends, this place is always popping for birthdays, which is great. You know, if you wanna have a birthday, go outside, have a picnic. Why not? Ride a train. They got pony rides. They got horseback riding. I absolutely love Griffith Park. I have to read. Eighteen ninety six. Colonel Griffith J. Griffith and his wife donated over three thousand acres to the city of Los Angeles to be used as a public park for purposes of recreation, health, and pleasure for the use and benefit of inhabitants of the said city of Los Angeles forever. Which is really fun is that in two thousand nine, Griffith Park was actually awarded a historical cultural monument, which means it will be preserved forever that's it's great huge accolade griffith also when he bought it in 1882 he made most of his money in coal mining and then he had an ostrich farm out here can you believe it there's ostrich farms out here that's pretty funny it was originally known as rancho los Viles. it was owned by corporal jose vicente feliz who helped lead the first spanish colonists to the pueblo of los angeles in 1775 1776 wow place is always full of history man I have to do more of my research and I got to read more I always want to read more about when I'm going to places and getting all the information so I can be entertaining and memorizing be like boom look it I learned this oh let me share while I'm actually just reading off my phone can't visit all the spots today just gonna pick a couple small ones the first one when I first came to LA I would always go to the observatory it was free I like it as like a first date stuff to look at there's a small movie. Look at here comes a train going by. This place rules. That's cute. There's a movie you can watch in the dome where you lean back. It's it's pretty fun. And then I don't know if you know things go well for you. You can maybe do a little sunset kiss. But hey, only with consent. Number one favorite is the observatory, Griffith Observatory. It's in so many movies. It's iconic. Some of the best views you can get of the whole city. City's so big, you always notice people always want to go hike to the top and be like, that's right, I'm above this city. It's really fun too, because uh, a lot of people like to say this city of Los Angeles is, uh, yeah, it's a big improv city. Yes, and where I like to say, it's no next. 
I'm pretty confident to say that I've hiked almost, not all the trails, there's hundreds of trails, but I've hiked a lot of these trails here. I was going once a week, my sister got me on hiking like crazy. We'll come back and do a thorough video because there's so many spots here. I've never been to the ranger station, the Crystal Springs area. Gorgeous little nature here in Los Angeles. You would never expect. One of the, my favorite historical things about this park is the merry-go-round. This merry-go-round is technically the inspiration for Disneyland. Walt Disney was hanging out here one day with his kids, with his daughters. They're playing on the merry-go-round. And he's like, there should be a theme park. The original bench is at Disneyland too. Fortunately, it's closed today. It's only open usually on the weekends. I'm not gonna trespass. They got some history up over there. Party zone. I've been on it once. I had no idea it was here when I first found it. I discovered it. And that's what's so much fun is, you know, you go and you explore your cities and you find new things. And then you find out there's a ton of history connected to it too as well. We found some Disneyland history, so celebrate. Celebrate. I don't know the lyrics of the song. Look, they got the history right there. I can't zoom in anymore. That's the Disney daughters at the top. And that's them at the bottom. Older ladies sitting on the bench. Absolutely had to show you guys that. History still standing. Remember, Disneyland was built in 1955. I don't know when this was built. I'll have to look on my phone. It's built in 1926. Like they got this nice grassy hill up above, behind it. One of the best spots to come kick it and lay on a cool day in Los Angeles. You got plenty of shade. All right, let's go check out the other spot that I really like at Griffith Park. Another one I first discovered that I had no idea it was here. Full of history. I truly am grateful for this beautiful plot of land. It gives you the best feelings because there's exploring, there's exercise, there's history. Thank you, Los Angeles. Thank you for this beautiful land. Shout out to the friends of Griffith Park. They're the organization. Look them up, please. They're the ones who help preserve this beautiful nature. So many trees, so many trails, so many critters. If you know this area of the park, you might already know where I'm headed. We're getting warmer. This place tripped me out first time I came here. If you've never seen it, maybe it'll trip you out. Yeah, so I was talking about how I haven't been hiking in a while. I'm feeling it. This is not even a hike, this is a hill. This is a hill to walk up. Folks, welcome to Griffith Park Old Zoo. There used to be ostriches out here, birds, now picnic tables. It was open in 1912 and was closed in 1966 where they moved to its current location. This sign gets graffiti so many times. Please go online and look up pictures. Some of them are a little heart wrenching. This used to be an open pit right here. But polar bears. There's pictures of polar bears standing in these holes there. I don't know if you can see on here. Not much space for these animals. Luckily enough we can climb in. Do not encourage people to come here at night. Very popular spot to not go to the bathroom. Oh, you can smell. Polar bears used to live here. Now we eat sandwiches. This was like 
a pit where there was water. This Griffith Park Canyon area served as a city zoo from its founding in 1912 to 1965 when the Los Angeles Zoo moved to its current location, about two miles north of where you are stand, currently standing. Many of the walls, grottos, and other closures you see today here were built in the 1930s by county relief workers in Works Progress Administration. Once bears, lions, monkeys, macaws, goats, elephants, reptiles, and turtles among others lived here, and the sounds of their growl roars, calls, and clamor filled this canyon. Although these historic enclosures are no longer appropriate housing animals, they can be home to memories of family visits to Griffith Park Zoo, as well as an opportunity to, and better developments in the zoology services, please enjoy and respect the building walls and hallways you will discover today. They make it a point to let you know, like, yeah, we, we kind of, uh, yeah, had small cages, we are a little inhumane to these animals. I don't know about you, me personally, everybody to their own. I'm not a fan of zoos. I just, I get it. I understand. I love the conservation. I love the saving of the wildlife. I'm for all that, but I can't. I just, I don't like them seeing in cages. I know, I know. Get over it. Whatever. They, just how I feel. Disney World in Florida, they got the, the safari tram where it's like you get to go in the car and then they're roaming free. I'm into that. Not in any other countries. I'm not I'm not like a fan of like I need to go to like uh, Africa or go to the wild and you know jungle and then you know walk freely with these animals. I'm not invited to that. I'm cool with that. That's their habitat. I'll live in my 21st whatever century habitat. This was where Griffith's first ostrich farm was. He's like, yeah, we got a little area over there. Why don't you go put the zoo up there? They used to do the haunted hayride over here, but they moved it this year. Oh, this one's open. You can tell very happening spot for these riders out here. Most of this you can tell is just it's caked with paint. Alright, we're doing it. A lot of broken glass, beer bottles, playing cards. Some would think this is a very desolate area. Maybe come and practice their graffiti. Oh, it smells really bad up here. Look at that, you can just tell. Can you see? These animals are close. Right at the above the top area. Since I'm up here, there used to be a big structure right there. I got pictures hanging on there back in the day. This is a really fun trail right here. This is the Griffith Park Old Zoo Trail. Pretty, pretty cool Simpson graffiti up here. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. That's a Homer e, Homer Donut head. This is wow. I'm glad I came up here. That's where I walked up. Yeah, I've never been up here. So obviously the spot's the paint. 
That was a little successful exploring trip. See all the different paint. See the different color painting. So much, so much graffiti. People are setting up, do a little photo shoot here. This background is very historic. It was built in the 30s. Still standing to this day. They keep painting over it, except for this bird right here. Why don't you paint over this bird? Did this bird live here once? Well, it's this bird's home now. Here's some cages you can climb in if you want. Here, we'll give a little perspective. Not much room in here. Yeah, it's uh, really great to be here tonight to perform to the universe. Don't worry though, I know my boundaries. Content evader. Get in line folks, get in line to see these cruel animals. You used to be able to go into them, but they are locked. Yeah, pretty gnarly. The old zoo. Till 1966, 1966 animals were in here. You can just tell. This probably was a very wonderful recreation area. Big steps, big steps, big steps, big steps, big steps. So when I first came out to LA, I wanted to work with, I uh, wanted to do sketch comedy, but I, I don't write sketch comedy. I need to find partners. So I found this guy on Craigslist randomly lives in Burbank. Really big fan of Buster Keaton, which was fun. So he's like, let's do some black and white sketches. I'm absolutely down for that. That sounds something completely different. So we did, we did a bunch. There's, you can look them up on YouTube. They're out there, but he's a Burbank local and he took me to this area. Those are the stairs. I just walked all the way over here to this path. There's some stairs over here. And then there's this kind of like, well, yeah, obviously somebody built that little hut there but it's like this grove going downhill bend your knees walk to the side Lee. the story he told me let's see if i can get a better shot it's this it's definitely this tree and that tree back there he told me either that tree or this tree public hangings oh good In tradition of doing a park show tonight, I thought I'd come show you Little Griffith Park. You know if you live in Los Angeles and you like to get your sweat on, like to make your buns tight, definitely like coming to Griffith Park. Funny because I've literally taken a couple months off of my hiking and it's given me just all these nostalgic feelings of being like, oh, I'd be up there, I've been over there, I've been there, I've been there. Look at my All Trails app, I got. Not sponsored by All Trails, I'm just giving them free shout out because I use their app when I go hiking, when I'm a little hikey mikey. All right, let's go to the first gig. I didn't even check how long it's gonna take, but today I made, I did time management though. <laughs> Shout out to Nixon. I got down here in time to film. I really wanna go read, that's what I really wanna do. I'm reading a book about Buffalo Bill right now and it's, and the author's funny. It's like historical and stuff, but he's he's got he's got a little wit. And I'm into that. It is pretty cool that I get to do two spots tonight, but it's actually something I'm trying to do less. When I get booked on a show, I wanna make sure I'm present. There, watching the whole show, waiting for all the audience members to file out, make sure I say my hellos, give out some stickers. But I'm performing at a park. The show's probably gonna be awesome. I'm probably gonna be like, oh, probably gonna show up there and be like, I don't wanna leave, this is fun. I wanna hang out with all these cool people who are gonna support the show. But then I was asked to be on another show. And since I got you, the stand-up adventure vlogs. Yes, more content, more spots for you to film. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to talk to any comedians tonight because uh, 
I don't know if I'm having enough time. This, the second spot is more experienced comedians who, like these are workout rooms for them. The guy who's putting on the show, I've known for a long time, so he knows some legitimate comedians who want to come work out. I'm not entirely sure I'll be able to talk to anybody. For you, but I'll be here. We'll, we'll talk about my sets. I'm filming both of them. We'll get both of them. Yeah, I can't talk about doing comedy at a park without giving a little experience at a park. We shall see. It's chilly out there. I know it's California, but still I'm chilly. All right, so I made it to the park. There's nobody here. Just under 30 minutes early, but you know, I asked to go up early so I can go to another spot. So I made sure I get here on time. There's nobody here, nothing. This park is like in the dark. Pretty sure we're performing over at these tables. There's no light. I hope they bring a light so I can record this. You can see for yourself. Now I'm already feeling the pressure because nobody's here. I want to get up early and split. Traffic's a little heavy. This is just a little glimpse into the life. Looks like we're just gonna be performing for each other, most likely. As you can tell, I'm absolutely enthused about it. Hopefully it still goes on. I have a feeling sometimes it won't even go on. Lento, which stands for, I don't know, because I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> yes. You got that wind in the hair. Keep it going for Karina. Everybody clap for this young lady. Put this on for us. Howdy folks, welcome to our meeting. <laughs> We're resorted to doing comedy outside. Doing comedy help for, you know, the stars. I don't like to make jokes about the universe though. They always go over people's heads. <laughs> Boo. Ah. <laughs> Does anybody here know what astronaut side hustle is? Space work. <laughs> Boo. Ah. I've taken improv. <laughs> but people come up to me all the time and they're like, dude, I live for the boohahs. And I'm grateful for that because I go on stage and I die for them. <laughs> I don't want to be too loud. I don't want to, I don't want to end, I don't want to end this, this comedy night. That was really nice of those people walk by and watched one joke. That's the best we're going to get today. Like, we'll do comedy anywhere. <laughs> Thank you for this, by the way. We couldn't do it without you. <laughs> All right, <laughs> just got off stage. This was a very rough environment doing comedy at a park. First, we we're supposed to do it by the benches, and then they moved us in front of the church that's in the parking lot of the park. And we did it on their front door, on their porch. It's nothing but comics. There's what, two, four, six, six people, maybe seven of us. I tried to riff a little bit, didn't really go anywhere. Tried to get honest about the situation, didn't go anywhere. Did jokes that worked? Sure, went somewhere. It was pretty awful, but I'm grateful for the spots, grateful for doing it. All right, well, in the car, to the next spot. I'm already running late, let's go. All right, I made it to the next spot. So we're indoors, this is nice. I've been to this spot before, Oracle Tavern. It's a pretty cute little bar, coffee shop. You expect a nice little environment for comedy. Not sure how many people are gonna show up for this one too, but look at all this graffiti though. Yeah, this area is cool. A lot of graffiti. Well, I was gonna go check my notebook to see how, what jokes I told last time I was here. See, since I record every set, I can see what jokes I told last time. See if I can, you know, mix it up and not tell the same jokes, but we're gonna go do that. That's how far we are from downtown. That's the Los Angeles State Historic Park over there. Very cool. Very zen. The force is strong with this bar. Check my notes. I was here in July. Basically been doing the same set. <laughs> I've had since July, so don't know how much time I'm getting. It's probably gonna be about seven minutes. Try to do some different things. Try to mix it up. Let them know, hey, I've been riding. I've been riding, I promise. We're gonna have fun, no matter what. 
no matter what, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna do stand up here. I'm gonna enjoy my set. Time to boogie. My niece visited me right before COVID. My brother, I swear, every time I, I, I see this guy on social media, he's like doing a show in fucking like Thailand. And I'm like, how are you back in LA? Right? Give it up for Mikey McKiernan. Oh, this is Zen Bar. I was just... We perform comedy at Buddhist temples. Anybody ever done that before? I think it'd be a lot of fun, but it's actually really challenging. You can't get off stage until you get the enlightenment. <laughs> Boo. Ah, ah. I always disappoint a lot of my hippie friends when they find out I don't have any crystals in my pockets. I'd be more into crystals if I could be in their pockets. Just saying I got a lot of energy to give, mostly being stoned. Boo. Ah, ah. This is my art. I wish I, I wish I could, I wish I was a painter. Because I love paintings. What I don't like is when people deface paintings. Yeah, I think that's art breaking. Boo. Ah, ah. Well, I do appreciate some of you just staring. Bomb City. Just got off stage. <gasps> Tanked. Didn't go very well. A couple laughs, little riffs. We'll put some of these bombs on there. <laughs> you guys will see. A lot of comics were doing comedy online. I couldn't do comedy online because of bad connection. <laughs> Zoom. I should have done more comedy online because I'm used to crowds being on mute. <laughs> Is that really, it hurts that bad? You guys can't hear the groans, by the way. I'm getting groans over here. Comics are like, we know. We've seen the Buhas. We know your act. So there was supposed to be a musician going up, and uh, we did the comedy show before the musician. Most of the crowd was there to see the musician. You guys all here to see the music? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people always mistake for, for being into music. I don't play any instruments. They always think I'm in a metal band. I don't listen to metal, and I get really insecure when they ask me who my favorite metal band is, so I just headbutt them. They're enjoying all the other comics. Then the Buhas go up there. And of course they're like, okay, that's cute. You have a trick. What else? So yeah, that was this was a good uh, good kick right in the pants. And then of course somebody shows up. There's a comic who's uh, a little higher status than I am. Worked with them before. They showed up. I'm like, hello. Then they leave. They don't say goodbye. And it's like, you can't get self-conscious about those type of things, but it makes me always feel like Mm, am I not welcome among this like little comedy clique, you can say? You shouldn't be thinking those type of thoughts and stuff like that, but we worked together, you, you could have said goodbye. I'm not worthy. Then I go up on stage, didn't feel worthy. Definitely one of those sets where you don't question everything, but you're like, ugh, that hurt. First we do comedy at a park on the doorstep of the church. Then I go to a, go to a bar, tank it. Oh well, dust the shoulders off, get them next time. Got a spot in Hollywood tomorrow with friends, with comics who are like, yeah, we care about you. I already know the path that I've created with this catchphrase, with this act is gonna not land with a lot of people. When I have a tough set, I'm up there kind of, you know, all right, well, you guys don't like it. And I'm, uh, you know, I feel like I'm out of place. But you can't act like that, but it's hard. It happens naturally off a good bomb. Bombs away. Well, that's it for me today. I'm done. I'm putting this down. Not forever though. We got a spot tomorrow in Hollywood. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for clicking, liking, sharing, commenting. Most of all, subscribing. Please share this. If you like it, if you're young comics and you think I'm giving out good advice, if you don't think I'm giving out any advice, if you have advice to give, leave comments. Give me feedback. Let me know. I'm listening. I read everything. I don't care. Negative, positive. I want it in my brain. I just want to get better. Follow me on Instagram. Link down below. If you guys want to buy merchandise, I have t-shirts and hoodies. Mikey McKernan's not funny. Link down below. Show dates. I got my website. Link down below. Got a PayPal link there too as well. If you guys want to keep supporting my comedy career. If you guys think I got something going and you're like, don't give up. Keep going. boo -ha the world. Thank you. One love.